Hello everyone, today we killed Nexus Princess Kaiveza and I was actually planning on playing ARMS on this boss but I ended up playing Fury because uh, when I resimmed this week, ARMS and Fury were within like uh, 5k DPS of each other on single target and Fury is just tankier so uh, I ended up just playing Fury so I can live and kill the boss. Now the gear that I had was this, I ended up buying BOE boots, Mythic Track and also the ring. And the spec that I ran was this, this is piercing on target build, uh, culling cyclone even after the nerf seems slightly higher than brutal finish still on single target, so yeah, that's about it. So let's go straight into the video. So uh, just like my previous videos, I will talk you through the fight from my perspective. Okay, so I'm starting by pre-using my treacherous transmitter trinket, I got the jump task, so I'm jumping twice and then I'm, the plan is to jump the third time uh, as I'm sending my cooldowns. So when I go in now, I'm going to Recklessness Charge, Rampage, and then send the rest of my cooldowns. And now it would have been great to jump the third time, but I completely forgot to do so, so I'm missing out on 14k strength on my opener, which is a massive deal. So uh, yeah, that's, that, that happened. Not particularly happy about that, but moving on anyway. So we're using the Echo strategy here, uh, where we bait the the adds the lines in a spiral shape instead of through the boss. So your fight might look slightly different than what's going to happen now, depending on what strategy your guild is using. So just using cooldowns and cooldown, and following priority and dodging stuff. I've also got a, uh, an add-on, a liquid reminder. I think you need to pay, uh, you need to sub to Liquid's Patreon or Insane. some sort uh, to get this add-on. Uh, I used it to set a reminder to spell effect every time a portal set is going on. A portal suck is happening because uh, it deals a considerable amount of damage. So getting 20% spell effect DR on that is quite nice. So dodging orbs. Well, don't really need to dodge orbs when you're in the middle here. If they played correctly, they should all be baited outside anyway. Jump three times. Crit cake moon, melee innate. So my position here is this section here where my mouse is. So I'm gonna stand there, and the intermission begins. So my t my job here is just try and stay in this area. And I use Enrage Region now. I like to use it early, as soon as I get my first line in Intermission. Just to stay healthy. And I use my Rally on time. And I have another Spell Effect Reminder. So here, on the final set of lines... Uh, let me get there again. So on the final set of lines here, I like to use Spell Effect because you might deflect multiple lines it doesn't spell effect back to the boss but it deflects it so you don't take much damage so if even if i have like three lines on top of me usually i'm fine and i survive that because sometimes you deflect tw uh, two of them if they you know dash through at the same time so it's just really nice and safe to be able to spell effect like that in this case it was just my line so i took no damage but the the hardest set of lines is the definitely the last one of the intermission so saving spell effect for that is very much worthwhile, I think. So that's why I used Enrage Region early on, and then Spell Effect for the final bit. And then the fight just repeats from here. I might get a mechanic here. It might be in the next phase, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah. Also make sure to max melee range when the portal second is happening here. You, too many times you can die from uh, being too close to the portal that the boss is spawning. So here I had to drop the boss for a moment because I was a little bit too afraid to walk through those lines. Those lines will one shot you if you get hit by them. So I managed to grab my orb while the pull in was happening from the portals, which is nice. Dash is through boss, so I'm gonna max melee range here. Making sure that it doesn't look like I'm going to get hit by any of the lines. Any of the dashes, that is. And dodging lines. 
if I feel like it's risky to stay in melee range of the boss when they're sending the lines through the boss, I just drop melee range for a moment and charge back in. So I haven't got a mechanics yet so far, actually. So, intermission begins again. So, I went to my spots. Now we're just sidestepping. Over and over again. I didn't actually use any range region there. I think my health was full, so... I decided that I didn't need it. Now I used it. So, last set is coming up. And that's perfect. See here? Uh, I didn't want to move. Because I felt that... I feel like... Um, when I use spell effect like that, I'm pretty safe to just plant where I am instead of moving and having people, you know, possibly panic because of my last moment uh, movement kind of thing. So, if I just plant, then people can adjust. Collect or stand in They don't need to uh, sort of react to my movements. So far, I still haven't got a mechanic. I'm sure I get one at some point this kill. It's probably the next set of ads. But yeah, now we're in the vicious content range. We've been in vicious content range since 35%, but um, I should be prioritizing blood bath a lot more now. Okay, so these go through boss now. I go behind this ads as I'm supposed to. I charge back in again, so I can just make sure I'm fully healed and I can keep my enrage. I wasn't able to keep my enrage for this thing, but I used my bitter immunity there actually. So uh, bitter immunity, uh, I don't think I actually covered that in the intro, but I use bitter immunity pretty much every time I go out to drop those um, debuffs off, the Queen's Bane debuff. It's just to be a little bit safer. The more instant heals that I have access to without hitting the boss, the better for uh, for that mechanic. So this is the final intermission. Things get really hectic here. And I send, them my, I send my last cooldowns. And I feel forced to move over to this side for whatever reason. I go back to my position so I don't disrupt. And I'm still alive. I use every single button. But yeah. Not a bad pull, though. Not a bad pull. Not a bad pull at all. So uh, the log that I got in the end was a 95. Um, got rank 4. It's not bad. But I feel like if I <laughs> picked up, if I did my uh, task at the start of the pull, I probably would have got a lot closer to rank 1 here. Or maybe even rank 1, because that... That 15k strength, or 14k strength in all of my cooldowns and lust is massive. But anyway, I hope that helped you. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Uh, once we kill, kill, uh, kill the Silken Court, I will make another video. So thank you for watching. See you next time. What? Yeah, there, I don't understand the amount of... Does every Classic single court. person have to go through this I was standing next to the line but not Very in the nice. line before they f***ing learn that that line is not an accurate graphic at all and it's literally been shown to people Sorry, guys. like eight f***ing times in the last night and a half and I don't want to see another picture of that like with someone saying yeah but I thought I was safe get the f*** away from the line and don't die to it <laughs> Jesus Christ I'm getting bored of seeing those because the person is justifying it in their f***ing mind they're like yeah i was fine i didn't do anything wrong like no except except that you were dumb and that you haven't learned from anything that other people are doing and then you got hit by a f***ing cone and the quicker you accept that yourself even if it requires me to yell at you the less likely you are to do it I'm again sure i'm supposed to use this ring making up bullshit in your mind to justify it to yourself jump three times